Hi everyone, Marco Schwartz here. In this video, I will tell you all about taxes in terms of uh, peer-to-peer learning and real estate crowdfunding. So you have been a lot to ask me uh, recently about taxes, probably because it's tax season in many countries around the world. So I really wanted to do a video on the topic and I will try to answer uh, some of the most popular uh, questions that you ask me about the topic. For example, uh, what's the tax rate on peer-to-peer -peer lending? Uh, what taxes should I pay on real estate fund funding? Also, uh, is it better to invest personally or use a company to invest in those investments? And how does it relate uh, with the tax office? So all of this we'll talk about in this video. So first, uh, let's talk about the main question. Uh, how should you declare your gains in peer-to-peer -peer lending and real estate fund funding. So just one disclaimer for the whole video. This is not tax advice. Uh, I'm not a tax advisor. It's just what I understood while reading all the uh, paperwork or legal scenes around taxes and fund lending. So don't use that as legal tax advice. It's just my opinion. That being said, in terms of how um, you should declare your gains in crown lending on your tax declaration? Well, the main uh, answer is it depends of where you live, but in most countries uh, it will be declared as such. So for peer-to-peer -peer lending, most countries will tax it as uh, interest. So in that case, peer-to-peer -peer lending uh, gains will go in the same box on your uh, tax declaration as those savings account. So this is very simple. For real estate fund funding, however, this is quite different because in most platforms, again, it's not the case on all platforms. You will have uh, two types of projects. You will have development loans and you have uh, investments in proper rental units. In the first case, you actually invest in a loan. So it's very similar to peer-to-peer -peer lending. So those gains will go actually in the same uh, box as savings accounts and peer-to-peer -peer lending, as I mentioned before. For uh, real estate from funding projects where you actually become a part owner of a house, for example, usually what happens is that the company managing the property, they will create what's called an SPV or single purpose vehicle, which is like a very simple uh, form of a company that uh, many people can invest in, right? So in that case, you actually are an owner of uh, a company, right? And this company will give you two things. They will give you dividends, which are the rental uh, income that you will get on this property. And you will also get capital gains when the property is sold, right? So this is two different things. And in some countries, it, this can be taxed differently. So you really need to be careful about this. So I know that for sometimes I was putting that all together and where I am a resident at the moment, it's exactly the same um, percentage of that, right? So that doesn't really matter, but in some other countries, it can really be a different uh, tax rate depending on what you invest in. So make sure to put it on the right box here. So again, Peter Pelandin, mostly always um, in the box, just like savings accounts, so purely interest. Real estate crowdfunding can be different. There are development projects where you will get um, just like a loan, so also interest. And there are uh, projects where you become part owner of the property. And this, as you become an owner of a company, basically, that own the property, it will be dividends and also capital gains. So two different things. Another question that I had a lot is, do I actually need to declare my gains on peer-to-peer -peer lending, for example, even if I don't get the money back, right? So for example, you invest a thousand euro, let's say, on some peer-to-peer -peer lending platform, you made some money, about 10% per year, you get 1,100 euro at the end of the year, but you don't touch it, right? You just reinvest it. Should you actually declare these stats even as you didn't get it back to your account? 
The answer is definitely yes, because the tax office would definitely see that as a gain, even if you didn't, you know, got it back, right, uh, at the end of the year. So definitely, even if you didn't touch the money, all gains should be declared to the tax office. And it's quite easy to do, because for example, all platforms have uh, an option to download automatically a tax report where everything is listed. So you don't have to calculate by hand how much you made the last year. So another question I had about uh, taxes and crown lending is, is it actually better to invest as yourself, so like a person, or via a company? So create a company and invest um, in, in those uh, assets. Again, the answer is it depends. In some countries, like where I'm resident at the moment, Poland, they actually have a flat uh, tax rate for individuals on investments like uh, dividends, like P2P lending, so interest. So in my case, it doesn't really make sense to invest through a company to, to get a lower tax rate. However, in many other countries, you have uh, variable tax rates for persons, right? So for example, from zero to 50%, let's say, depending on your income, but you have a fixed uh, tax rate as a company. So it might make sense to invest through a company if you have a lot of income and that puts you in a higher tax uh, bracket. So it, this might uh, actually make sense for you to invest as a company. But again, depends on your own situation, depends where you are a resident uh, for tax reasons. The last question I had a lot recently about uh, taxes is what to do with platforms that already apply taxes uh, on your gains right on the platform. So that's the case for some platforms that by law have to do that if you don't provide more tax information. So for example, uh, even if uh, you actually don't provide anything to them and they get these taxes, usually you will get uh, some treaty between countries and you won't have to pay taxes two times. So again, it's quite complicated. So I really recommend uh, using an accountant to do all those tax declarations, but uh, make sure that you don't pay taxes twice. Um, if it's indicated in the tax report that you already paid taxes right on the platform, you won't have to pay them again in your home country. So that was all I wanted to say about uh, taxes and crowd lending. I hope it was useful for you. I hope it will help you to fill your tax declarations uh, this year. And that being said, if you have any questions about uh, the topic of taxes and crowd lending, make sure to leave them just below the video. That being said, thank you again for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.